Hi guys, welcome back to a new tutorial about Native Script and Angular 2. Today we want to uh, implement a new uh, splash screen for our application. So this is the first screen in our application. So after some seconds, um, the application goes to the login page. So there is a redirect to a new uh, new page. In this case, the login page. Uh, start with with a new directory in modules we want to name this splash screen and okay no remember no okay and we want to add a new typescript file splash splash screen dot component component dot typescript and of course we want uh, HTML file with the same name splash compo splash screen dot component dot HTML. Okay, so we move all this and we want to reuse the login component. Copy and pass from this. Okay, and remove the user. We need this change splash screen also splash splash screen okay rename the class with splash screen component okay we need on it remove credentials we need of, of course the root extensions Okay. Okay, ng on it is is okay. And now we want to implement the uh, template in uh, in this splash screen. Uh, about about the splash screen, we want uh, we want that um, this screen is a full page, so we don't need the um, the action bar but just the uh, stack layout stack layout okay inside okay we need of course a class of this stack layout class page and orientation vertical and maybe we can use the login image okay image we can reuse this but you can put inside everything you want uh, of course, you you can use the splash screen component in order to to call some service um, to uh, to load something. But uh, this is uh, an example, so we want just uh, eight seconds for this. Um, uh, we want to to wait for eight seconds, uh, eight six. Okay, and after these seconds uh, uh, that we are waiting. La, we want to redirect the application, the page of this uh, this splash screen, to the login component in order to to login in the application. So we have the image. Mm, okay, we can change the the width after, and we want of course a label. A label with class. Uh, we can call this class. Uh, uh, Okay, the name is loading. Okay, and the text is of course loading. Okay, and now we want that we have to to add this component to the app module. So we we want to add inside the declaration so this is splash splash screen component okay this is the import and we need another root so copy and copy pass from login change for the path so splash screen also the component splash screen component and go 
colors import and in this case we want to redirect to the splash look uh, splash screen and not to the login page so splash screen okay i think it's it's good for now okay the app is refreshing okay loading and now we need of course the redirect to the uh, login page so go to the splash screen component and now we want to uh, add a set interval in the on in it so set interval okay we can use the arrow function this is the body and we have to set 400 milliseconds and what we have to do now in this loading page there is an interval and every 400 milliseconds we have a dot to the login text of course if there are already three dots we restart the loading text with no dots and we want this section for for example eight seconds and after this we'll go to the login page but for now we need a variable for our loading text so public loading text of type string and the text is loading okay and of course we need a private time splash in order to, to count the time for our splash and the count for our dots okay so now go to the uh, set interval if this time splash is less than 8000 millisecond we can increment our time splash so this time splash okay and we can increment uh, with 400 millisecond and now we want to increment the dots on our loading text label so we have first to check if there are already three dots so this count equals three we have to restart the count of dots and of course the label so this loading text is loading but if there are one two dots or no dots we have to uh, change the loading text so we have to add uh, a new dot to the um, loading text and we have to increment the count for the uh, for dots in the loading text so now we have to, to implement the redirect to the login page after this 8000 milliseconds so let's write the else statement okay and now we have to use again the router extension so this nav dot navigate okay and we want to navigate the, to the path login and also we want to, of course to clear the the history uh, remember the brackets okay clear history true and okay the ng on init is is done so we want to change this text with text login okay uh, no it's loading text so we, we have to change sorry loading text now there is the data binding uh, watch the the dots and the redirect but if you want to to see again change something in the components and watch the the app is refreshing okay and watch again the dots uh, about the login so it's working okay now we can use the the class loading on the label in order to to change the style of this splash screen so open the the app css okay where is the app css okay it's here okay so now we can use this class loading and so add this class to the app css loading okay and now we can add a new color 
uh, text yellow because our logo is yellow and blue so we can add also a font size of 25 pixel okay now moreover the merging top we can add also the margin left maybe maybe 30 percent okay and at the last we can add the font weight okay bold and now watch the the application we have to to restart so change something save and watch the app that is refreshing okay why uh, it's not working app css loading in the html class loading and where is the error do you see the error yeah, okay loading sorry cd okay Lo loading okay now it's working but i think that that yellow is not so good so we can change mm, with a color like gold but we can also increase the the width of the image so change the color and maybe this or okay this i think it's good now try and okay now it's good so guys that's all for this tutorial of course you can use the splash screen to call some service in order to wait the result and then go to the login page in this case we don't have a service so we have uh, we have used uh, an interval in order to change the loading text and after eight seconds the application goes to the login page don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social pages. See you guys!